Eivor the Talker. Quite a trove of riches, Siegfried. What were you doing with Count Odo as Charles' army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange that you met with Odo, Richardis, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads? Everything I've done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. We fight because we must. Born in blood, doomed to die. Our threats woven by unseen hands. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe we grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons. And we are no different than wolves, driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be, but for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No. I do not believe there is a hall waiting for us. This world is our hall. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grant. We gave Charles our word. Our word? You are the one who failed to return his son, Bernard. Have you forgotten? That was different. Charles would have... Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy. And after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. I need to go after him. Will it be a home gang then, Wolfkist? I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a crow starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinric or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge, it has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood on our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Dry your weapon. If you want to find peace, this is not the way. We must build fresh bonds. Look forward to something new. Look forward, look back. It is death in both directions. We are but a morning fog that will inevitably lift. Now answer my challenge or dishonor yourself. Your sorrow will linger if you do not face it directly. My blood, the blood of more Franks, will be no solve for your grief. It is as if you speak with Sinric's voice. I have been at sea with no stars to guide by since he died. 
And if your brother were here, what would be his counsel? To move forward. To live. My time here is over. My kin are dead. The ones who remain must decide what is right for themselves. Let it be Toka's time. What will you do? Leave this place. Ask different questions. Forget everything I know and... find a new way. going away then I am going with him no Toga your clan needs you He was not himself since my father died. A solitary man. But never more so than when he stood alone, tasked with rousing our desperate clan. He led well, but all leaders must one day step aside. That, or see others die because they held on to power for too long. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage, daring. And his fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirmed this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. If he says it's urgent, I must go. I owe the Queen a debt, and I am honor bound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. Eivor of England. You sent for me. Said the Queen was in peril. I did. Come with me. Look at these workers. Working happily. Working with pride. The beauty of my family vineyard depends on them. The quality of the wine is their doing. They are not beasts of burden. They take as much pride in these grapes as I do. I'm not here to admire your vineyard. No. But this is more than a vineyard. It is a vision of Francia. A vision that cannot exist under Charles. Ah, pluck the grapes right on time, Roland. Très bien. Dependable as always. Merci, monsieur. These grapes produce the wine that my vineyard is famous for. I admit, there is an uncommon beauty to these lands. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Come. I am slower than I once was. My physician says the wounds you have delivered should have taken me. You chose to have that fight. And you fought for your people Let's and for your you honor. I do not hold it against you. Any true leader would have done the same. We are more alike than we first appear, Eivor. And I will carry the scars to my knees. I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried has left these lands. Those axes belong to Toka Simrixdotir now. 
That should be cause for celebration. But I fear Toka is yet another devil in a male shirt. Toka has learned much from Siegfried. Some of what she has learned is how not to be. I hope you are right. Your message said Rishardis was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth that I find more honor and courage in you, Ivar, a northern invader, than in my own king. Honor is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. And it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. Bernard. A part of me wanted to hand him over to Charles. What grace you possess prevented you from condemning the boy to a hell in this world. He is better off with Richardis. Where is the Queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens, guarded by my men. But those men have not reported back in... too long. I will find Richardis. I'm duty-bound to return the aid she once gave me. And... she is my friend. There is... One more thing. This rebellion will succeed. And when it does, my path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you kill Charles for Francia, we would not forget. No. Murdering Charles on the hope it will bring security to my clan is not the kind of deal I mean to make. I misjudged you, Eivor. You stand before your people's best hope. Enough. You offer a promise you cannot keep, Odo. I will go to the tavern in Amiens and find Richardis. Fine. Bonne chance, Eivor. I will pray for you to succeed where my men have not. These men must have been the Queen's guard. Tavern Keep, what happened here? Hide! I am not sure it has gone! The monster! So much blood! Just hide! Better to look around myself. There's a dead monk upstairs, and a scroll in a tongue I do not understand. It's uh, uh, probably scripture, written in Latin. The boy prince reads Latin. Bernard? Oh, yes, they were here. That monk was his teacher. He's from the church here in Amiens. I heard the queen tell Bernard to go to the priests and nuns there when he is in trouble. Then I will look in on this church and hope to find the queen there. What happened? The monster took us to father's villa. 
But Richard Lee distracted him, and I snuck through the construction along the wall. There is a tower there. And if you climb and climb, you can go right over. Where is Richardus? Where is the Queen? The monster. She left with him. You mean the one who slaughtered so many at the tavern? He said we'd be brought to Father for something. A test. I was... What kind of test? I... He called it a trial. Yes, that is what he said. A trial by fire. At Father's villa, here in Amiens. He means to burn her alive. Go, Bernard. Go to your house and listen. I will see to Shadis. I can help. I know things. You do not have to hurt my father. He is just... He gets confused sometimes. You must keep yourself safe, Bernard. The fate of Frankia depends on your survival. It will be a grand task for you to sneak all the way down to the Seine alone. This is a hero's burden. Are you up for it? I can do it. Good. Now go. Keep going, and do not look back. I will see to Richardis. Au revoir, Evo. It appears that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles, who must seek his forgiveness. <laughs> we will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king, and before God. It's time I send this Diable back to hell where it belongs. Alive. Stand aside, Bishop. Your god does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn! For little mother! For my brother Ebels! I will purge you from this place! Out of my way, Bishop. I will kill... Lord, spare me! I am his wrath! Thou hast delivered my soul from death! My eyes from tears! And my feet from falling.
I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lucerne. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flash of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Not a moment ago, he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Charles has dishonored all of his allies and his people. I will not swear an oath to spare him. This is folly, Evor. Killing Charles will not assure the safety of your people. If not, let it avenge all the Norse he has filled here in Francia. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. shimmers with the Lord's light. And so they were right about me. All of them were right. I know. We are what they say. It has always been us. Even as they seared me, I feigned to be purged of all demons. <gasps> but I knew. No amount of burning would rid me of you. And burn me they did. Below this scarred flesh, you were still there. You were still here. You have always been here. I embrace you, demon. Louder. We are the demon. We are... Uh... I am not the only demon who lurks in these chambers. I am not mortal, but you are! 
some guns now, you diable! I killed him before. Maybe he will rise from the dead again.
All you had to do was give me my son! I will never forget it! To you, it did not have to be this way. His death is payment for the many he has killed, and of mercy for those he was yet to. Speak not of mercy while his blood is still warm. What you have done was driven by selfishness and anger, not mercy. Charles was a threat to my clan. He was mad beyond reason. And should your clan be a threat to one of your neighbors, I hope God grants them the wisdom you lack. Now leave us. Just know, Charles will never honor our bond with you northerners. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps. How dare you? Wait. Eva! Finally, we can talk sense. What of Richard is? Did you encounter Charles? Richard is yet lives. Charles does not. This is an unexpected gift! That makes today a day for our celebration! It has been curious to know you, Eivor. You are as enigmatic as any northerner I have met. Here's hoping there are more like you. I must go now and attend the throne. I wish you a safe journey back to England. Your greatest challenges lie before you, Count Odo. I hope you have the strength. As do I. Is it wise to put our trust in him? You can bargain with him, Toka. I know it will be strange to ally with someone secret hated so. But he will keep to his word, and... I know, I know. Leaders drink the wine and so on. <laughs> you were listening. 
I have much to consider. Stay true to your honor and bring glory to your people. If you do that, you cannot fail. I will send word should the Franks grow an appetite for England again. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more Yarl like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I have been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Toga. We must have heard about Giles. We have eyes and ears everywhere. You did the right thing, Ivor. Frankia will have a better king. One you might even be inclined to follow. That remains to be seen. For now, loyalists rise to resist the change. We will continue our missions. How can I help? Back to England? To England. Off we go, then. Are we safe? It will be many winters before Frankish troops land on the English shore. My spies say Paris fell. It did. But the situation is thornier than that. In what way? I killed the Mad King, Charles the Fat. Odo, the Count of Paris, means to take the throne. Is that good for us? Time will tell. But Odo is an honorable man, and he has a kingdom to rebuild. That is comforting. We also have a hardy ally in Toka Sindrikstotje. She is young. And a quick study. <laughs> she will do right by us. Perhaps they need not know the danger we face. We came home with bounty, glory, and some Frankish foods. I can ask the raiders to keep their tales to that. They will say everything, and then some. <laughs> Afraid so. <laughs>